Robus began assessing our carbon footprint as part of our environmental and social governance project, which was launched in November 2021. Robus's ESG project is a way for us to ensure that as a global organisation we are working and acting in the best interest of the environment and society in all of the markets we operate in. We've based our ESG project framework on the ISO 2600 guidelines in order to ensure that the holistic approach which covers the seven core subjects is maintained and utilised. Establishing our carbon footprint was one of 77 actions which make up our ESG project. When establishing Robus's carbon footprint, we utilised PASS 2060 standard. PASS 2060 is a four-step approach to carbon neutrality. It contains measurement, reduce, offset, document and validate. Step one, the measurement is broken into three scopes. Scope one covers all direct emissions from activities that are under the company's control, such as fuel and emissions from our fleet cars. Scope two is indirect emissions purchased by the company, such as power and water. And scope three is all other indirect emissions from activities that are neither owned nor controlled by the company, such as transportation, waste treatment and employee travel. As part of our carbon calculations, we collected data from our transport partners and energy suppliers from all of our global sites, and we carried out a survey to compile data from our staff's travel habits and emissions. The data was then compiled to give us our carbon footprint total of 1,594.36 CO2 emissions. To offset Robus's carbon footprint, we utilised the UN Carbon Offset Platform and identified three schemes that we could support. These were Guanhai, Sichuan and Xinyang hydropower projects. These projects allow us to offset our carbon footprint and allowed Robus to become carbon neutral in August of 2022. The same calculation process will take place every year from now onwards to allow us to monitor our carbon footprint so that we can continue to investigate ways to reduce our company's emissions and offset them annually. In order to reduce Robus's carbon footprints further, we've made a number of changes, including implementing a global two day per week working from home policy in all of our offices to reduce staff travel time and emissions. We've moved our Australian office to a new smaller premises, which is more accessible to all staff and is more energy efficient. We've installed Robus Link System smart controls on all lighting in our Dublin offices to reduce energy usage. We're installing solar panels in our warehouse in Q1 of 2023 to reduce the amount of energy Robus currently uses from the national grid. We continue to work with environmentally responsible logistic partners and we continue to provide our customers with energy efficient LED lighting solutions.